My name is Leslie Day and I work at the Royal Cornwall Hospital Trelisk and I am an Estates Officer. The hospital is based in the southwest of Cornwall. We are the only acute hospital down here. We're a 500 bed hospital and part of my job role is to run and maintain the services to site. The original pump station on site would have dated back to when the tower was built in the 1960s. Originally we started with three rusty old chamber lids on top of, our, of the first level of the station and, and these were always a risk to us because they leave the chamber effectively open and exposed. It, if you wanted to gain access it's just a case of lifting the hatch and, and you know accidentally falling in or animals falling in and, and these again were the age of the pit so they were in no, no fair condition. Our original submersible pump sets were no longer maintainable by our in-house staff. This was just due to the training requirements needed to get into the first part of the chamber and for that you had to have your confined space entry tickets, uh, tripods, harnesses, um, breathing apparatus. Um, a lot of it was just far too costly for the trust to do in-house. The beauty of the equipment all being above ground is it means that all of our guys can access that um, fairly easy. It's all inside one nice neat little package that they can all maintain. Our site's grown and grown and grown in volume. Um, our patient levels are higher than they were back in the 1960s and the type of products we've got going down into the sewage chamber have changed. Um, we now live in a very disposable, disposable world where uh, it's more of a you use a disposable wipe to clean things down and for infection control purposes it's either bin it or what tends to happen a lot of the time is it's popped in the nearest toilet or sluice and it's washed down and sort of left for someone else to deal with which still ends up being the estates department in-house. A couple of years ago I was introduced to Andy Hornerbrook from Smith & Loveless. They advised us to move towards a single channel expeller which um, since then over six months ago we haven't received another problem from since. All in all, it's worked out really well. We've almost forgotten we've got the pump station on site, which for us is a fantastic position to be in in comparison to where we were previously. The Smith & Loveless Everlast gave us an opportunity to have an all-in-one product brought to site on the back of a lorry and quite literally slotted in and plugged in and off we go. Um, it Initially, um, looking into the different variations on submersibles compared to the above ground station. It allowed us to maintain no disruption to the hospital whatsoever and from a, a, a reactive team's point of view you know that's fantastic we could we could ensure that we had all the services running right up until switch over and the new equipment was good to go. The Smith & Loveless Everlast product that we've got on site is very quiet. Um, we're on a site where although there are lots of buildings spread out the units placed directly near wards and opposite a golf course. Uh, since the installation um, we've got a little pod on site and I'm not sure most people are even aware of what's going on over there. I'd 100% recommend the product onto um, any other hospitals looking into this type of equipment. You can take back ownership for your equipment without relying on contractors to come in and tell you what's wrong with your product. Your own in-house team are there um, all trained by Smith & Loveless to be able to deal with any faults that they may or may not come across in future. <music>